Hello, I'm back from my holiday in France now. In fact, I was a couple of weeks ago. And this little painting of the bridge at Clacy has pretty much dried off. And I'd like to finish it now. I keep on going on about this. I know I'll harp on about it, but I think it's quite a good idea to leave your painting before it's finished and give yourself a, a week or two, or at least some days, to just stand away mentally from your painting and reconsider it so you come back to it with fresh eyes. And that's exactly what has happened here. I'm now ready to finish it. Now, a couple of points which didn't come up in the filming that I did on location. One was that when I got back to the sheet, I scratched out some of the branches here. I just got a knife and just scratched out the paint to represent some of the branches. And, um, and I should also point out that earlier on in the filming, in the editing, I've speeded some of it up. Um, so if it looks slightly odd, my apologies for that, but just didn't want it to be too long. So now, in finishing this off, the few things which have come to my, my thought process. One is that in this area here, there are some quite subtle colours. There's some purple down here and there is some pinky colour up here. I can see it on this little, little um, photograph that I've got here. Also, of course, these paints, these painting areas that I put in, I put in really very thinly and you can see some of my drawing through them so I need to thicken up some of the paint as well. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm using one of my little pieces of scrap card here to just test the colour. Needs to go just a little bit lighter. And my main purpose in doing this really is to cover the lines, the drawing lines that I had on here before, which are still grinning through. Because when I was on location, I did paint with quite thin paint. I'm varying the colour very slightly as I go along because even in areas which look to be the same colour, there's, there's always a little bit of variation. I actually have on my palette water mixable oils, which I've just got left over from another painting I was doing. And water mixable oils will mix with ordinary oils. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Because I hate wasting paint. And there's no need to. And this shadow area here, which needs to be a little bit darker, there's definitely a purpley tinge to it. I don't know where really where the reflection is coming from. But it's definitely got to go in. And there's a sort of a pinky colour a little bit higher up. It changes just Just here.
While I've been off camera, I've carried on doing some work on this little painting and I'm almost finished, but there are a couple of things I'm not quite satisfied with and I will do just at this finishing stage. Here they are. I've added in some trees on the left hand side, but it's these two arches which concern me just a little bit. It's, it is difficult, I'll admit, to get curves, especially on a bridge like this where you've got perspective coming into play to get them just right. And the one on the left, which should be a little bit narrower than the one on the right, because it's further away, is actually a little bit wider. So I need to adjust that. And uh, the area of these trees here um, just merge into the, the bridge a little bit too much. So I'm going to darken that bit of foliage up as well.